Welcome to Trading the Trend on this Wednesday, the 9th of August 2023. Now, just to remind ourselves as to why we do this, Trading the Trend is an opportunity to get onto a trend that seems now to be in place. And we'll tell you how to trade this with safety, uh, stop losses, and a position to give you the best risk uh, to reward uh, you can get. Uh, an upward facing trend is a trend where you get higher highs and higher lows. And a downward facing trend where you go short on whatever security it is would have lower highs and lower lows. And there are lots of technical analysis tools you can use uh, to help you round this. Let's take a look at the chart we're going to be talking about today. And this is the US dollar traded against the offshore Chinese yuan, the CNH. Now you can see here the tool that I've applied to this is the Andrews Pitchfork. We don't often use this. And um, I have here uh, at the bottom the um, MACD, the Moving Average Convergence Divergence Indicator, which I have on all my charts, uh, which gives me an indication of the sort of uh, direction of travel that we're in. And this is pointing up, which gives me some sort of hope uh, that uh, we've got a trend in place on the way up now. And you can see here, if you look at this pitchfork pattern, uh, that we're trading within uh, the outer boundaries of this at the lower side, but it is a trend that's now in place. And I brought this to attention of you because I wanted to show you this higher high that we had yesterday, the, the candle high uh, that we had took us up there to levels not seen since the 7th of July. Now, the Andrews pitchfork is drawn from the low point here uh, to the swing high we had on the 19th of July, which is what we just passed, uh, and the low point down here, which is lower than the lowest point of the Andrews pitchfork we had back on the 14th of July. So we've got this little bit of a trend in place. Now, the way to trade this is, uh, to my mind, relatively simple. Uh, and uh, despite the fact we've got a little bit of a drop today, fundamentally, uh, this is because uh, we've got money going into the Chinese yuan because expectations are from having the deflation number coming through today with uh, CPI showing a year on year uh, contraction of a 0.3% reading. Uh, producer prices was down a whopping 4.4% year on year. So factory gate prices are down heavily. But uh, we've got Chinese deflation back for the first time since February 2021. So the Chinese authorities widely expect to come in, which I think is one of the reasons why we've had uh, money coming out of the dollar and going into the Chinese yuan today. Didn't quite break this line of support down here, this red line. So I'm wanting to go long on this. And if you're long on this trend, which is in place, we've got these higher highs and higher lows. Uh, your stock goes underneath the underside of the Andrews pitchfork that I've drawn on here. Uh, I've changed the standard settings. You normally get a 200 setting on either side out here, which gives you extra support lines. But I don't think that's necessary given the current circumstances. Now, I would, if I'm putting a position uh, in place today, I put my stop loss underneath this green line here, which is a 50 period moving average, something else I have on all my charts. So the stop loss at around about the 718 level. We're currently trading at 722.35. And uh, my expectation is that this lower red line here will hold and will see a continuation of these higher highs in place. And don't forget, on Thursday, that is tomorrow, we have some all important US inflation data. Now, I'm widely expecting that to show that inflation is beginning to continue to stick around, if you like. Uh, we had that drop in the June number, but I think July is going to show that it continues to stick around. And I think this is an extra um, incentive to put money back into the US dollar, not just against the CNH, uh, but also against the euro, sterling, Japanese yen and so forth. Uh, so that's my thinking. Uh, assuming we get that inflation data, which shows that the Fed should perhaps maybe keep its eye or perhaps maybe possibly on keeping interest rates up, uh, then I think there's more opportunity here to buy the dollar. And so buy the dollar against the Japanese, uh, so the Chinese yuan. Uh, and uh, this is uh, the USD CNH trading the trend uh, with a stop loss just underneath the underside of the Andrews pitchfork. Thank <music> you.